It's a night more than 50 years in the making. David Hackett is about to be inducted into the Skateboarding Hall of Fame. Yeah, buddy! When I heard that he was getting inducted, I felt like we, the whole, our whole family was getting inducted because like, he deserves it every day that he wakes up to goes, goes to sleep. He just eats and breathes skateboarding and gives so much to it. This is the ninth annual Skateboarding Hall of Fame induction ceremony, and after being nominated eight times, Hackett is finally being recognized with the legends of his sport. It is um, a life-changing moment for him. It's, it's a lifetime achievement award. It's something that he's aspired to for the last 40 years. Well, here we are. It's happening tonight, and I'm really, really excited, and I'm very humbled and very honored, to tell you the truth. And it's like my family, you know. I mean, I've been skateboarding for 50 years, and I literally have a relationship with every person in this room. I mean, they've either seen me wipe out or we've stood on the podium together. Hackett started skateboarding in 1965 at the age of five. In the late 70s, he and his crew helped transform it from something to do when they couldn't surf into a worldwide sport and a thriving global industry. They really, the guys that founded it all. You know, without those guys, skateboarding would not be what it is today. So in, in a sense, like, anyone that rides a skateboard and thinks that it's edgy and cool and like the counterculture aspect of it, they have guys like Hackett to thank for it. You know, they are the original creators of what skateboarding really is. Hackett won his first world championship at the age of 15 and his last, at least so far, in his mid 50s. In 2016, I was able to win the tight slalom at the World Championships in Ashland, Kentucky at the age of 55. <laughs> I'm pretty stoked on that. This represents 40 years of non stop professional competition skateboarding for me. Of course, I have ridden endless and countless pools, parks, pipes, ramps, and schools in between, but I have never once stopped skateboarding between those two world titles in over 40 years. It's never even, I've never even considered stopping. For more than 50 years, skateboarding has been the one constant in a life filled with one challenge after another. When his brother murdered their mother, when he battled a drug and alcohol addiction, and when he was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. Skateboarding will always be my first love and the thing that makes my heart sing. To me, it is total freedom. Skateboarding is the most incredible thing that you can do. It's pure stoke, friendship, camaraderie, camaraderie with all you other skateboarders. It's amazing. No matter what color, no matter what gender, no matter what age, eight to 80, skateboarding crosses all those barriers because skateboarding is really a combination of balance, speed, technique, power, knowledge, love, hate, respect, fear, and style. Here to watch David being honored as one of the greatest in the history of his sport is his father, Malcolm, who was never a fan of his son's greatest passion. My father said, skateboarding is never going to go anywhere and that I should quit now and go to school because if I continue to skateboard, I would never amount to anything. <laughs> Now that is motivation to never stop. And I'm not here to, you know, rip on my dad, but I gotta tell you, sorry dad, but that inner dialogue played in my head and continued to fuel my drive to make something, skateboarding something to be proud of and ultimately my, pr my father proud of me. So thanks for that dad, I love you. David Hackett has been a professional skateboarder for over 40 years. He'll never stop riding, never stop promoting the sport that he loves, and never stop pitching himself to potential sponsors. I will always be 100% surf skater for life, and I'm open to any new sponsorships like Band-Aid, Advil, Motrin, and Jacuzzi, and of course, any hair removal products. David Hackett has ridden his skateboard into the Hall of Fame. His dream is realized, his legacy is secured, and his father is proud.